going on guys? Thank you so much for joining. I wanted to come on here really quick and just talk about the, the, the top four mistakes that my wife and I have actually made with our vacation rental. Uh, we use Airbnb and VRBO. I want to talk to you guys about uh, the four biggest mistakes that we've had. So number one, that if I could go back in time, I would do this exactly. So we bought a home back in April 1st and we put about $50,000 worth of work into it. When we did that, we decided to kind of switch out the locks, right? And in my mind, I was like, well, the old person has the keys and I just don't want anything to ever happen where they come back and you know, grab something, they forgot something like a wall or like an attic or something. So we went ahead and switched all of the locks. And unfortunately, we didn't know any better. We bought key locks. And that has been the, one of the biggest mistakes that we've made uh, because there's a key to, there's a different key for every single door. And so now my keychain has like a plethora of keys. Also, another thing that I've done is I didn't hand out the keys to different people. So we had accidentally, we bought a keypad for, for the, the main door and at the bottom of the keypad is a doorknob, right? We change the doorknob and we change the keys, whatever. And uh, one of the funniest things is when a, a guest locks the bottom lock, they don't have a, key, a hard copy key to go back into the house that they're paying for pretty much. So we have actually had to go back to the property because they have locked the bottom of the, the lock about three or four times within, in, within a month. Uh, so I don't know what it is. So we, we've thought of different things like putting tape over the doorknob so that they don't accidentally lock it. Nothing's working. We're just going to have to end up putting a regular lock, a regular doorknob there. So that was one of the biggest things. If I had to go back, I would utilize only uh, keypads and, and touchless keyless entryways on every single piece of door that we had there. Uh, number two biggest mistake that uh, we have made ourselves is making sure that we have a big team. So we have somebody who cleans our home uh, that's not our rental property. She cleans our home every single Monday and um, unfortunately I thought it was enough to have her to go and do the job when you know when people stay you need to have the house clean for the next guest and one of the biggest things that i've realized is uh, when she was unavailable to clean a you know somebody who stayed for one night they just signed up tonight they stayed tonight they got to be there out tomorrow uh it's it was really hard to kind of get somebody last minute at that moment because the lady who cleans our home here also has other homes that she cleans so uh, one of the biggest things that I've noticed is to grow your team. So uh, if people offer you their services, like, hey, I'm a cleaner, don't brush it off and keep them in your pocket and just kind of throw them some of the cleanings as well. Right now we have two, uh, really we have three ladies. We haven't used the third lady. We've only been utilizing the two because they've been able to manage the whole property. Uh, but that was a big thing at the beginning is not having a big a big enough team and we would have to go and do the work so we, we've had to go clean the pool we've had to so it's just been a big mess so to keep everything tidy and good uh hiring a nice team especially a uh a handyman a handyman who can come in and fix leaks that happen or fix the door that's broken i don't i don't know how to use a tool so i have to have other people do it so actually one of the biggest mistakes that i've made uh that i didn't even think about was garbage cans uh, so right now we've been booked up uh, quite a lot, but mostly in the weekend. And uh, you can't tell the guests to bring the garbage can out every Monday or every Sunday and every Friday. You know what I mean? Like you just can't do that. And unfortunately, the neighborhood that we're currently located in has two different days: one day for the garbage, another day for your recycling. So we it's it's been really hard. Like who's gonna go take the trash out? The cleaner can go take it out, but it's just gonna sit there all week if we don't have a booking for three or four days. So it just sits there. Neighbors get mad. Uh, so we are trying to figure out how to manage the garbage cans. Uh, we've tried to help hire a little kid within the neighborhood, but he doesn't want to do it. So uh, right now we have our neighbor doing it, and, and that's just not fair for that for our neighbor. So uh, yeah, the garbage cans has been one of the, the hardest things to solve because who's going to do it? I don't want to go over there just to move a damn can. So it's been pretty tough. Now, the last thing that we have made a mistake on with our Airbnb this time is putting sand everywhere. So my wife and I decided to do a beach themed and it's called Blue Beach Bungalow. We'll link it down below if you guys ever want us to stay. Uh, we put sand in the backyard because it's right in front of a lake and it kind of makes it look like it's a beach. You have your own little beach property. We put a fire pit. We put like a little nice uh, tiki bar out there. We put a lot of cool different things outside. Uh, but we also put sand on the side of the house and also in the front of the house. And unfortunately, there's a lot of palm trees and palm trees reduce, like release this like black seed. 
And so because it's white sand with these black seeds, you can kind of just tell it gets dirty from the black seeds that are there. Um, and that's actually been one of the biggest regrets that I've had doing with one of our, with, with, with this property is putting sand. I love the sand in the backyard, but the sand in the front yard is, is kind of a no-no. We have our, also, we have the runoff of the AC uh, in the front yard. I don't know why they built the home like that, but whatever. Uh, and it just kind of brings the brown sediment, the brown dirt into and it mixes it with the sand. So it just kind of makes it look dirty. And if you don't have somebody who goes in there and blow dry and blow dries it and blows it away, uh, it just kind of look, kind of looks dirty. So, uh, yeah, those are the top four things that I have learned from my mistakes. Those are mistakes that Christina and I have made. Uh, we are open, we're honest. We want to let everybody know, uh, tips and tricks that we that we are learning the hard way so all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys want me to talk about anything else please let me know down below and talk to you guys later peace